Now to the big story, approving the state budget. Governor Gretchen Whitmer signing the $59 billion spending plan. She also issued 147 line item vetoes for $947 million worth of proposals by Republicans. Those cuts right now include per student increase in aid to hundreds of charter schools and the Pure Michigan Tourism Campaign. So we wanted to know, should Governor Whitmer have spared the Pure Michigan Campaign from the Budget Acts? You can vote right now on our website, wxyz.com slash vote. Meantime, 7 Action News reporter Brian Abel joins us live with more insight on what this budget means for the state. Brian. Yeah, guys, I have eight pages here of those line item vetoes. One arguably getting the most attention is right here, that Pure Michigan ad campaign. The governor says that she loves it. So why is it getting canceled, at least its funding, and what impact does that have for the state? Listen to my stories. Hear my songs. For every dollar that Pure Michigan spends on advertising, it brings in an additional $9. The 30 plus million dollar funded Pure Michigan campaign now getting none of those dollars after Governor Whitmer cut it out. Part of more than 900 million dollars she line item vetoed in the state's budget. You know, I love Pure Michigan. I think it's a fantastic ad campaign. I think it is something that gives us all pride and that's why I prioritized it in my budget. I funded it. Big as the sunset on a great lake. But Governor Whitmer says the budget passed by the Republican-led legislature lifted funding from critical public safety programs in order to pay for a short-term road fix, leaving her with little choice but to cut Pure Michigan. And at the end of the day, I'm always going to put public safety, like the tethers that we need to monitor in the state police budget, uh, ahead of any ad campaign. Without... Tourism experts say the state's third largest industry could go into a free fall. So we're 400,000 jobs that are uh, part of this industry since 2009. Look at Colorado. Colorado had a great marketing campaign that they stopped years ago, and they went from being one of the top de state destinations to the very bottom. Now, the governor has said that some of this is negotiable. She set a meeting with leaders for Thursday to narrow down which ones are with so much attention. You would imagine that Pure Michigan might be on that list, but there is no set table or timeline for those discussions. So we're at a wait and see on whether Pure Michigan will survive. Reporting live, Brian Abel, 7 Action News. All right, Brian, thank you for the update.